Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is me talking out of my ass. So something just happened, and I know like three things about it. Somehow I still have opinions, obviously. They're not that well informed if I'm going off of such little information. But it is, you know, as they say, uh, developing. So Zack Snyder just went on a stream, which I believe was uh, associated with uh, charity. And uh, he, uh, he wrestled some jimmies. He absolutely did. I've seen little clips here and there. I haven't watched the whole stream. I don't really like live streams. Uh, but um, uh, a lot of hurt feelings and a lot of uh, childish uh, laughing about it. So um, the situation is he got on there. And again, some of these, I think I've been on a, a couple live streams with some of these people um, uh, a few times. I don't, I don't think I really know anyone on uh, this one, but I know people who know them. Uh, you know, mutual friends uh, type of thing. I'm not really that into Star Wars and, and Zack Snyder movies and all that. I just like comics. Anyway, so uh, they get on there and it's like eight people and there's a spot for one more because Zack Snyder's just about to come on. And some guy who, again, I don't know, he starts really pumping him up. And he goes, you know, here he comes. We all know him, the leader of our movement. And I was like, oh, God, oh, God, you didn't just say, you didn't just say the leader of our movement. So uh, Zack Snyder comes out and he, this is just a weird aside. <laughs> Do you ever look at someone and say, I feel like you're going to be bald in like five years? Every time I've ever seen Zack Snyder, he's got this kind of wispy hair that it feels like, it feels like it's just about to all fall out. But I don't know, maybe it's, that's just a, my own subjective opinion. But anyway, he's looking the same as he has for the last 15 years, but he's looking uncomfortable. And he immediately says, hey, thanks. And then he distanced himself from geeks and gamers. And then he got a little emotional uh, uh, about the, uh, the shootings down there in, what was that, Georgia? I got the feeling he was given a standard boilerplate to say. He heard the introduction and they were like leader of, my, of our movement. He was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so then he, I think he vamped. And uh, uh, well, I'm not going to say no one was happy because some people are, think it's just freaking hilarious. I mean, Twitter is, is a buzz with uh, a lot of people who think this is the funniest thing ever. Uh, again, as far as I know, it, uh, it's related to a suicide charity so that's probably you know a lot of the reasons and then there are people who push for the Snyder cut and then it happened so um, they're getting very very angry and what I would like to say is you can't let yourself get into situations you can't be in your 20s 30s 40s and 50s and worshiping someone you can be a fan you can be a, a huge fan um, but I think when you put yourselves in situations like this it's not like are you going to get hurt eventually? It's like, when is it going to happen? So back when I started the channel, you know, I was talking about uh, several pros that I liked a lot. And people who hated me and people who stalked me made it a point to find these people. You know, uh, you know uh, they would basically say, oh, have you heard about the terrible thing? Don't you want to denounce him? And then they would be like, hey, guess what? Or, I mean, I literally had one person like find uh, somebody that I idolized when I was 11, um, uh, take a picture with them and like smirking at the camera and then kind of like low key using it against me uh, for like a year or two afterwards, you know, on and off. Um, and the thing is that I saw this coming back then. Um, so specifically some of my favorite pros, I never ever talk about because I know they'll, they'll do something like this. And then the other thing, it just kind of bothered me that someone that, you know, I admire, but I don't idolize was used as a prop for like social media revenge. It seems very disrespectful. Um, but I was ready for it. So when it happened, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, it's like, I'm in my forties. I, I remember reading, uh, uh, interview with, uh, John Singleton, the director. And, you know, they were like, oh, who are your heroes? Uh, he goes, well, I don't have heroes anymore. I'm a man. And they're like, wait, what? And he goes, I'm a man. I'm grown. Like, I had heroes when I was a kid, but now I'm a man. It's basically put up or shut up town. I either, you know, become who I wanted to be, or there's really no excuse. You have people you admire, but you shouldn't have anyone you worship, or it's, it's such a huge deal if things go sideways. I mean, people have falling outs over the stupidest things all the time. Um, so uh, there, there's that saying, you know, the more I know about people, the more I like dogs. 
dogs, they're pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is, and I'm not trying to make light of their situation, but it's one of those ones where you, you roll it backwards and you say, if this much of my life was not invested in, you know, thinking that this person's going to like me or we're going to be friends or even if they're going to appreciate me, that this is just someone. I mean, I used to live in New York City, you know, you see celebrities all the time. There's nobody I would cross the street just to say hi to. It's, it's cool. They're on the TV. They're on the movies. They make the shows I like. That's cool. But to imagine there's any sort of actual relationship between you and them, literally, even if you've spoken, is you are just opening yourself up for heartbreak. Do I know more of the situation than that? No. But having been in similar situations where people have tried to get me and you know, get to me in a way they think that works. When that thing with the, the party happened, it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm shattered emotionally. It's like, that's kind of annoying. It's just annoying that you know somebody's out there like, I, I'm not saying I'm too good to get revenge. I'm saying I'm too lazy. <laughs> like if there was a button right here and then they're like, press this button and someone you don't like will be really sad for 24 hours. I wouldn't push it. You know, it's like... I mean, it's, it's really kind of showing that that person is a huge thing in my life. You know, like they say, living, you know, rent free, uh, in, uh, your mind. If you want to plot revenge for him, it's just like, eh, I don't really care that much. Uh, so, um, definitely have your interests. You know, I'm, I always, you know, joke that I like the John Wick movies and the Expendable movies more than you're supposed to. Like, you're not supposed to like them as much as I like them. You're not supposed to take them super seriously the way I take them. But on one hand, you know, I take them very seriously and I'm really into the lore. Uh, but on the other hand, I know they're, they're silly action movies. So, you know, what is the answer? It's not just, oh, I'm just going to give up on everything. But it's, not to be condescending, but if you're older than like, 15, you, you really should not have anything that much emotionally invested that you can just have your heart completely broken if somebody turns against you or if they don't support your group or you think they like you but they don't or something like that. So anyway, so anyway thanks for watching and I'll have more new comic reviews up all this week. Bye.